Yeah. All right. But I mean, I would, you know. Uh, you don't hate it, I which don't is hate good. It. And if anybody and said, hey, <laughs> if I knew somebody liked this type of music, but they hadn't heard this band, I'm like, oh, it's pretty good. You should check it out. You know what Look I mean? at you. Yeah, well. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> we're proud of you. Uh, all right, let's move on to uh, what we're going to be doing next podcast, which I don't know when that's going to be, but it's going to be at some point. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's see. December, you are giving me an album for the next podcast. What are you giving me? Do you know? Sweet. Yes, I do. It's a little band on... Um, uh, uh, SoundCloud mm. called SIL Satanic Industries Limited. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> but they're only on SoundCloud. They're only on SoundCloud, and they were in the '90s. They were a oh. so it's actually a friend of mine, uh, from Toledo, Ohio. He uh, was in a band. He when uh, Judas Priest broke up, he uh -huh. was in Fight. With Judas Priest. Rob Halford was yep, in fight. Yep. So he was in yep. fight with Rob Halford. Yep. Oh. And then when they weren't recording with them, uh, JJ would break off and had his little side project. He had SIL. From Judas Priest? Yeah. yeah. He had SIL. He yeah. had Vent. Yeah. Um, so yeah. SIL. So what's this? What's a Satanic Industries, Industries Limited? Limited. What is? What would you describe that? Uh, 90s. Techno metal, kind of hmm. interesting, wow. very interesting. Uh, I know Michael's gonna want to listen to that at some point. <laughs> I, I can't listen to it yet, though. <laughs> you didn't know that. I don't scold like, I didn't mean to scold you. I uh, sure you, you didn't. obviously Whatever. feel free to listen to it. It's not like I'm gonna give that to you on this podcast. We've already covered the uh, Uncle Acid and the Dead Beats, you know. But I just feel like I'll be in better shape if I hear it beforehand. Right, you know? right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like we should pick our favorites and our worst one and talk about why we hate it, too. Oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. For, for the, the low light of the... Yeah, uh, of, yeah. That's a good idea. And, like, sure. why we didn't like it. Sure, let's do that. All right. Yeah, let's okay. do that for next one. Like okay. That. I'm, I'm going to be bossy. Is it worth mentioning? <laughs> what? Is it worth mentioning now for the songs that... No. But the one you fucking didn't pay attention to you probably right i didn't pay that. attention to it so yeah. that should be more than enough <laughs> okay. we do that Next time. okay uh michael you are giving december Me. an album uh okay. what are you giving her um so this is funny because you mentioned coheed yeah. um this week i got back on the coheed because i've listened to him for so long but this one is called in keeping secrets of silent earth 3 from coheed and cambria Oh, Did you listen to that before? No, nope. that's from two. That's yeah. from two thousand and three, and I believe it was their second as their sophomore effort. Right. Okay. And I will say, there's all there will be the scenario where somebody has listened to an album. Uh, I'll leave it up to you. Okay. Uh, if you no, want that's why I want to make but sure. But I would say like, come in with an alternate too. That okay. way, just in case somebody okay. listens to it, you give them something else. So all right. And what I was? I'm sorry. Sure. What was the name of the album again? I gotta do it right now. In keeping it's... secrets of Silent Earth. Oh, that makes semi three. three. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, the uh -huh. funny thing about them is they made all these weird b album titles, but they actually turned it into a comic book. Uh, line. <gasps> oh, it's sweet. A, it's, a, it's a huge, their whole album tells a huge, uh, all their albums tell a huge story. So they're like epic storytelling, yeah. sweeping. Oh, awesome. Okay. I, I highly recommend you looking at uh, the lyrics too. Okay. Um, but at the same time, do not be phased by this man's voice. I'll go okay. Uh, now I'm a little scared, but okay. Oh I just think, I just think, uh, he, I don't think she has the similar uh, wallop about emo vocals. No, 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 no. I don't. Yeah. I don't. It's yeah. no, but You're good. yeah, that band, I fell in love with that band despite it. I had to like, see through it, you know. Yeah. Uh, and that, uh, and you're giving me an album. I'm giving Michael. Smitty, you're giving yeah. Me an album. Uh, when was the last time you listened to a full album from the band at Creedence Clearwater Revival? We set the <gasps> standard. Let's go old. Wow. Uh, to be honest with you, I had their greatest hits. I didn't have I've ever albums. listened to. You've only listened recently. Yeah. So shout out to my pops, who's going to have to be on the podcast at some point to do the, yeah. this sort of thing. But I only listened to this album recently and fell in love with all of the albums from CCR. I'd only listened to the greatest hits, the Chronicles as well. Yeah. Uh, but 1970s Cosmos factory 
Uh, Cosmos Factory. Guys. Cosmos Factory. That's got some fucking great tunes, man. That's got that opening seven minute. Uh, can't yeah. remember the name of it. Uh, right Ramble Tamble. But the great eleven minute version of. Uh, I heard it through uh, the grapevine. Through the grapevine. Oh so good. my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. There you go. That's your album. But I All can't right. listen to it. Wow, there's so much stuff to this that I know. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. I'll, uh, yeah. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. I'm going to rip it to shreds. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> this album sucked donkey <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that about CCR. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could. I, it's, I don't it's, know. Not about that album. But there is something, too, uh, where I can't relate to somebody who doesn't like Tom Petty. I can't relate to somebody who doesn't like... Foo Fighters, I can't relate to some. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's just some music you're like, I don't know how the fuck you can't like this. <laughs> I will tell you, though. I'm, I mean, I, classic rock is a hit or miss with me. Me too. Know, but the CCR I do like, but we'll see how the rest of the album goes. It's all rock and roll to me, baby. <laughs> all true. right, we opened minds today. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm right. uh, stoked. And uh, It was nice to meet you, Michael. Yeah. It was nice to meet you, December. <laughs> oh, before we go, yes. uh, let's talk about uh, Michael Stevens, Michigan This Morning on 9 and 10. Of course, Flake of Wrath uh, oh, yeah. podcast, gaming podcast, uh, streams live for Woodward Sports, Twitch. Am I missing anything? Uh, no. I think that's pretty much it. Facebook.com okay. slash Flake of Wrath. December is my new boss at uh, my new job, Fresh Coast Beer Works <laughs> in uh, Traverse City. We're not, it's not open yet. Uh, no, a no, away from no. That. But... Uh, did you want to pump your uh, pimp out your T-shirt? Uh, yeah, and, sure. Uh, Rams a yeah, tattoo yeah, yeah. artist as yeah, well. Yeah, my husband is Ram Lee of Traverse City Tattoo, yeah. so I own that as well. Um, we own a small little T-shirt company called Up North Redneck. We're big hunters, fishers. We love to do all those outdoor things, um, and we like music. And I like to make beer. So there's that. Man, I'm I hunt and fish, and I like to drink beer. Right, right up my alley. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Did best, we just become best friends? Best rock yep. and roll roundtable panel ever. No offense. Want to go garage and do karate? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right.